Hi, I'm Dan Dorenzo. Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. In these next series of Training Minutes, we're going to be discussing the various options to anchor a firefighter off to deploy a personal escape system. The first anchoring method we're going to talk about is probably the most uh, suited to anchor to a firefighter and most reliable one and the most fail safe. The firefighter is going to deploy the system utilizing a remote anchor. The firefighter is going to locate a structural member inside the room. Once he's gotten in there, he's gotten a safe refuge, he's transmitted his mayday, he's located that structural member. The structural member could be a wall stud, a steam pipe, a radiator pipe, something that's substantial that the firefighter can tie off on. This time, the firefighter has breached his wall. He's going to select utilizing the wall stud. He's going to go down with his left hand and deploy his system. It's currently wearing an internal integrated escape system pocket system. He wraps his substantial object. He's now going to place two half hitches onto the hook. What this does is this secures this into the object, around the object, so that way it will not come undone. Once this is done, he's going to test his anchor under his own weight. It's set. He's going to turn, leading with his right shoulder toward his egress point. He's going to use his left hand with his throttle, feed it across, and he's going to conduct a horizontal movement across the room. Once he gets to his selected egress point, he's going to have to extend the device out past the sill so you don't get a jammed device. Once he's gotten his mark, he brings it back in. He's now going to revert to the window hang. As previously discussed, the window hang is going to be, he's going to take his left hand, hook the sill, his left leg, hook the ledge, his right hand is going to pin the rope into the outside wall, and he's going to rotate himself out and hang at that window. As he rotates and hangs out, Okay, he's going to hang there. He can wait for an aerial ladder to be thrown to him, wait for the problem to be corrected. He's going to give one final look back to check to make sure his anchor is still established. At this point, his anchor is established. There's no other means for him to get out. He's going to have to continue with his descent. Now let's put this all together and show it in real time. The firefighter's egress has become cut off and he's trapped in an upper floor. He's transmitting his mayday and at this time he's attempting to find a safe refuge and an egress point. He locates a room, closes the door, establishes a safe refuge. He goes to his egress point, clears the window, makes it a door, obstruction free. This time he's going to go look for a remote anchor, which is the most substantial. He decides he's going to breach the wall, overcome some obstacles. Creates his remote anchor with his two half hitches. He's going to test the system. At that point, he's going to run across the room. When he moves across the room, he's going to get to his window, conduct his window transition by hooking off his left hand, left leg, rotating out with the right hand pinned into the wall. He transitions over, completes his descent. What we just viewed here was the remote anchor utilizing a personal escape system. The remote anchor is your most substantial anchor you can deploy when utilizing your personal escape system to egress from an upper floor. At this time, we'd like to thank Sterling Rope for their sponsorship. Stay safe and keep training.